Okay, y'all, I thought I was recording this whole entire time. I have been playing for like 40 minutes and I thought I was recording. Oh, okay. Anyway, I've added on to his house. We we made, we did one more giant sell. We sold all day and we had over a thousand dollars. So I did his house. It looks about the same. His bedroom is going to be upstairs in a little loft area. And then down here is in the bottom. He's going to have a living room area here, a bathroom, and his kitchen. And I think what I'm still going to end up doing is putting like a tiny dining room space right here, which for right now can just be that chair. And then I'm going to switch the bathroom up just a little bit, but I've given him a balcony outside, which I could put his table out here as well, because it's still covered up by the roof, but it doesn't, I don't know, it's not downstairs. I guess it doesn't matter, but it leaves us room if there's anything else we want to put down here. But I think... I'm not going to do anything else on the house for right now until I make more money because we don't even have enough money to put a wall because downstairs our bathroom is just an open door. I mean, an open hallway and I want to put a door here and put a shower in and back the refrigerator up to here and then have this be the living room space. So that is the last that we have to do. It's not nicely decorated, but it will be complete the way it is supposed to be for us to say his house is complete. And so he is taking a shower right now, and then he's going to get busy. Oh my gosh. These people come to my yard sale, and then they just hang out. But he's going to get busy making another round of everything, and then we will have another giant sale where we sell all the candles, all the stuff, everything that we've gotten so far. He can make rectangular candles now. So we're doing that. I hope there's not anything else I forgot that I was going to tell y'all. Well, I said we would do a round of making all the things, but he's just going to have to make a bunch of candles because they're the only thing he can make that does not cost him any money. And I have bought an orange dye, but I'm saving that for our own house. So once he can make a different kind of candle, then we're going to use the orange dye and make him his own candle to go somewhere in his house as like a final decoration. And then as new people move in, we will have him make them things based on the colors they like and all that kind of stuff. So at the beginning of the next episode, we will be rolling or spinning or however I'm going to do it to see who is going to move in. All right, our dude is scared of fire and we're about to cook for the first time on our stove. So I'm a little concerned about it, but oh wait, what? Dude, you can't cook in here? Eggs and toast? He's like, I'm eating this granola stuff. Oh, maybe there's something up with our thing and we can't cook here. Wow, okay. Well, I guess we're not doing that yet then. We're going to make one more candle. Let's do another cylindrical. And then we're going to have our yard sale. Oh, he's so close to leveling up. There we go. Level 7 fabrication. Oh, now I know the problem. He didn't have enough money to cook what he was trying to cook. Alice wants to get to know Minerva Charm better as a friend. Go ahead, Alice. That's why he couldn't cook whatever I told him to cook. He didn't have enough money. So he's making him a single salad to just sit by himself in this chair and eat it. All right. He is tired, but I do not care. We are having this yard sale. I have been doing things. Wait, do we have a trash plant? Oh my gosh. Candles and honey all over the place on this table. Let's go. Starting the yard sale. Okay, these are new people that we didn't have before. Who is this young man? Kareem. All right. Jeffrey Landgrab comes every time. Every time we have a thing, Jeffrey Landgrab comes. Oh, my gosh. You want to help clean up this mess? Get over here and help. All right, this is all we have. Some candles, one more sculpture, and some honey. All right, yard sale's over, but all these people are still here. I know you're very tired, babe. Let's do this. Let's get these last things gone. Look how much money you have. All right. Our dude is too tired to even tend the table now. So we're going to have to end it 
with just like a few things left on the table. Okay, that's fine. You know what? That's fine. We have 742 simoleons. That should be enough to get up here and fix the bathroom the way I want to. All right, so he's asleep and I'm going to fix the bathroom up. Okay, the bathroom now has it a shower. So we're just missing a sink in here in the bathroom. And our kitchen has an extra counter so we can put a sink there. And then I want to put windows on the house. And I'm going to stop though with 82 simoleons and let him build some more things when he wakes up with that money. But our bathroom is now complete. I'm calling it complete even though it doesn't have a sink in it. Our kitchen is complete also except for the sink and then we do not have a living room which we're working on now. There's the carved candle that I was talking about. I want to make him an amber carved candle. It's going to be free to make it but I just want to make that for our own house to decorate with. All right, now we're going to try to make the eggs and toast. I'm so scared. All right, Cypress, you've got this. Look at those pictures of you and Alice on the wall while you make your breakfast. All right. Hey, it looks good. It's normal quality. Great. Okay, we don't have anything to put the candle on, but there that's what the candle looks like. It's really pretty. All right, Alice stayed over last night. And I want to know what you guys think since he has a relationship with Alice. Do I, oh my gosh, neighborhood brawl. Do I let him, do I let her move in with him? Or does she need to create her own house first? And then they can live together and decide which house they want to be in? I don't know what the right answer would be. Uh-oh, broken toilet. My dude is sad. Why? Because he wants to recycle. Oh my gosh, I hope everybody at my house doesn't get into a fight when they all come over for the sale. Since it's neighborhood brawl. Look, Jeffrey is the first one. He's going to single-handedly. Oh, wow. We haven't seen Josephina. Josephina? Jeffrey Langer, I've got here when this thing started. Oh, there's Alice. Oh, great. Wow, we're down to one sculpture and some honey. All right, we have three things left. Mortimer. Oh. One thing left. Oh, we're all done. Everything's gone. Our dude is feeling playful. Let's see if that means he can make a playful sculpture. Whoa, come back. Yes. Okay, let's do it. If he makes the yarn one this time with the cat, we're going to save it because he's going to give that one to Ziggy Yarn. Okay, it doesn't look like that's what he did this time. What is that? Just some little playful curly cues. That's really cute. Okay, he's still playful, so he can do another one. Let's do that. And then I've got to let him go downstairs and take care of his needs. Mortimer Goth just came in my house and came upstairs where I'm working. Mortimer. And what? Was Mortimer, Mortimer trying to flirt with me? Mortimer, get out of here. Oh, he made the cat. He made the cat. Where is it? What? Oh, this is it. It's so cute. Okay, we're going to put it over here in the corner of his house because he already knows that he wants to give it to his friend Ziggy when he moves in. Look at it. It is adorable. And it's excellent. Can I mean, excellent. That's great. All right, everything else goes in here. $745. Wait, our dude wants to go for a jog. Where are you, babe? I need you to go to the bathroom first, please. I said bath. I don't know how I said it, but I did not say it correctly. Then you can go jogging and then come back and eat. All right. He's coming up here to go to bed and we are going to finish off his house and then we will be done. So hopefully $745 is enough for me to do this. I need to get the bathroom fixed first. So I don't know exactly how. Whoops. I'm not on build mode anyway. So I don't know exactly how I can get everything in here. Like I can do that and then where do I put the sink? Or I think I can do it like this and I put the door in the center and then I can put the sink 
if the shower's facing that way, I think I can put the sink right there. Will that work? Just this small, let's just do it white. The problem may be the shower. Like instead of this one, I should use the almost invisible shower. Okay, that's what I'm going to go with in his bathroom. So he officially has a bathroom. Seriously, up here. Let's move these over. Well, not the whole thing. I just need, stop it. I just need the plate off of it so that we can put a sink in here. We're going to have to go with the cheapest one we have. And we're keeping, hmm. Okay, now for our living room. Oh, I wanted to do like one of these. We definitely don't have enough for, I mean, enough money for one of those. So he does not need a TV. I'm going to say no. He does not have to have a TV. I love this vintage TV. Okay, so let's get him. Okay, first of all, let's get him a bookcase. And that has some room on it. So maybe we can put his little candle there. I don't know. Maybe that'll cause issues. What about this? bookcase this might be better and then how big of a couch can we afford now okay not much but this one the mega sofa that's too big like he can't even get upstairs with the sofa there no we don't want that one okay I like this rustic one I mean it's not super comfy and I still doesn't have a dining room table man but He's got everything out. So let's get his candle out and put it on the shelf. <sighs> okay, I want to extinguish it because I don't want it to burn down. I want to be able to have it here. Okay, so our beautiful house. Let me see if I can get a shot of it. And remember when I said I was going to take a picture of the outside of this thing every time to see how everything has changed? And I have not, but I can take a picture of it from right here today. <laughs> All right, so I still need to work on the outside of his house, and I still need to do his, the rest of the inside, like the decorative things and the windows on the inside slash outside. But that is going to do it for Cypress. I think we have done everything. We've got it figured out the way he's going to go forward. And I can keep playing him a little bit in the background, but I'm mostly going to be focused on the new person that's moving in. So we will kick off the next episode with me rolling, spinning, whatever for that person to see who is going to move into our lot next. You guys let me know who you think should be next, like who you're hoping is next. And I don't know who I want to be next. I kind of want the gemology girl just because I haven't done that, the new kit stuff at all. But I also like the idea of the one that's going to be cooking to have her be making everything that she can sell out on the selling table. And I just think it's going to be cool when we get more of these selling tables all out here at the end of everybody's little driveway. So that is it. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I so appreciate your feedback. So let me know any ideas you have for how I can do this going forward. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.